All right, welcome back to the Sports Source. This quick segment brought to you by the Topoco Lodge. Hey, rooms in the historic lodge are now open for business every single weekend. So the winter close down is done. They are open on the weekends in the lodge itself. And then their grand opening for seven days a week stays. That's the lodge, that's cabins, that's the whole nine to the Topoco Tavern. All that is set for March 13th. So right now, weekends at the lodge, good to go. The big grand opening for seven day a week enjoyment, that's coming in March. The Topoco Lodge is a spectacular place, great for your events. Check out topoco.com to learn more. You'll be very impressed. If you've never been up there, get up there, check it out. Uh, you'll be as amazed as I was the first time I visited the Topoco Lodge. Okay, this segment's going to be short and sweet, mainly because I'm not going to throw too much sugar on a year that's been kind of, eh. So I'm not going to put too much sweet on a sour season. Vince, I'm going to ask you who the MVP is for this basketball team, and I ask each of you to rank them one, two, three. Who you would put the MVP, who would be second, who would be third. So one, two, three, MVP for this basketball team. Well, uh, I think it, the, the three choices are pretty clear. It's just a matter of which order you want to put them in. Uh, I went with Fulkerson one, just his development in the post, the energy he brings, the plays that don't show up on the uh, on the stat sheet, uh, I, I, I think he's at number one. Two ponds, he's also developed big time, and he can defend all five positions. Wasn't great yesterday, but I still think overall he's been tremendous and now is on NBA radars. And then three, Viscovi. You know, it's a, the, it, he has made a great impact for being in the SEC in the short period of time, but he's also uh, has a smaller sample size of being able to help this team. But for it, Rick Barnes is right. It is an unbelievable story. So I have Viscovi at three. Great kid as well. All right. So Fulkerson is his MVP and Pons and Viscovi follow it up. Mike Strange, what's your one, two, three? Fulkerson, right. number one. Uh, I went with Viscovi, number two, because, I mean, what would they be without him giving Turner's gone? And I, and I threw Bowden in there because we, we beat him up all year for his three-point shooting, the fans have, but he, he still leads the team in minutes played. He's still your leading scorer, you know, by a tenth of a point. 80% of his free throws, that's good. Uh, second in steals, still plays hard defense. So I, I think because of that glaring uh, the three point the thing. shooting thing, we, we've tended to overlook what, what else he does for this team. Good and point. You just, you just made this segment worth doing. That's good. Pond's <laughs> most improved. So most you gave him most improved. All right. So I, you went a little off script, mm -hmm. and Mark always looks at the segment I give him and says, "John, let me show you how it's done." You went way <laughs> off script. Your MVP. Well, uh, yeah. You played I think with it's it. Pretty apparent. You know, I, I liked about it. And I think Fulkerson, all of those guys. I think it's pretty apparent who the top guys are. I went with a little definition of MVP. I guess the the missing valuable players. Uh, I think that's the biggest impact on this team. I think a lot of guys are performing uh, above where they are in, in, in Fulkerson, in Ponds, Vescovi. Um, but I say missing valuable players. I think it starts with our bench, um, Jalen Johnson. He's a junior. There's development. Um, I don't throw Josiah James in there because he's a freshman, even though he's a five-star. I just but bench in general. Um, I think Bowden, all the great stuff that Bowden has done, I think um, we're missing um, uh, what he could be, his scoring and the ways that he could add to the team. And then Lamonte Turner. I think if you add Lamonte Turner to this ball club, you get one a, healthy a guy Lamonte that's Turner. a healthy Lamonte Turner. He's got that dog in him. He's got the ability to to uh, get to the paint, make players better, which all of a sudden then makes Bowden better, makes Josiah better, puts Viscovi off the ball. I think if you have Lamonte Turner, it's worth at least another two to three wins. And now this team is in yeah. the bubble talk, not yep. in the NCAA tournament. But in the bubble talk yep. with Lamonte Turner at the point guard. Perimeter yep. defender, I mean yeah, leadership. Right. I mean you can yeah. keep going. Yeah. Yep. Which is where we had them before the season when we expected <coughs> Turner to be healthy and playing. So. And then that puts Bowden in a better position as sort of that number two versus number one. Yeah, um, um, somebody tweeted me yesterday or sent me an email or somewhere, and I think it's we've talked about it before. Uh, <coughs> I think they said he's he's more of a Robin, he's more comfortable being Robin than he is Batman. And mm -hmm. I think that's that's a fair point. Yep. And if that's not the way they phrased it. You should have, because that's a better way of phrasing it. All right, when we come back, uh, we're going to talk about the Vols' upcoming week, Vanderbilt, and then Bruce Pearl and Auburn. Come on back on the Sports Source. Hey, when you're away from home, catch us on Facebook Live, our YouTube channel, or on SportsSource.tv. Let's do it. This is the Sports Source.